I have spread my dreams under your feet. Tread softly because you tread on my dreams. Why? I'm in a single income household, and Jen and I just had our second baby. I think it's time for a raise. I can't give you a raise, Gabe. It's like giving a raise to a drug addict. My child's like a drug problem. You're fired. You're fired, obviously. Oh, you must be McCreary. Oh, wow. You're fired. She's coming back. She's coming back. She's coming back. Don't push me. Don't push me. Uh, 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 Who are you? I'm Molly. Mm -hmm. I'm a new writer. You want to sit down? OK. That's where metal sits. Could you sit down, please? Oh, I'll just use uh, this trash can. There's, you know, there's hardly any trash in it at all. Oh, it's kind of comfortable, better than a chair. That's our show, everyone. I came to tell you this year is your last. What? They can't replace you if everyone loves you. Do none of you understand what is at stake here? I am being replaced. Think about why the show is bad and come up with ways to fix it. I wish I was a woman of color so I could just get me a job I want. We talked about this, you can't say that. I know what everyone thinks of me, but just because I was lucky enough to get this job doesn't mean I'm stupid enough to lose it. What exactly is wrong with my bits? You're a little old and a little white. What can I do about that? I have some jokes for the monologue. I shouldn't do this in an English accent, should I? No. Watch me! This is your show. It's an expression of who you are. How would you describe Molly? She said I was a vibrant splash of color on the gray <laughs> canvas of our writing staff. I mean, I need you, Molly. I need your pushiness and lack of boundaries. You love me. No, I didn't say that. I, no. I mean, not in those words, but you. No, I didn't say it in any of those words. Watch me.